8x square plus 30x plus 7. All right. So in this case, again, first thing we see, can we take the coefficient of x square as common? And because there is 7 at the end, which is a prime number, we cannot take 8 as common in this case. So what we do in that case is we multiply the first and the last number. So we do 8 times 7, and that gives us 56. Now, we find the factors of 56 when added gives us 30. Okay, so let's find factors of 56. We know that 8 times 7 is 56, but 8 plus 7 is not 30, right? So 8 plus 7 is not 30, so that doesn't work for us. What we do next is we try and factorize one of the numbers, or in, in this case, we cannot do the other one because it's prime. And now we can do 4 times 14. 4 times 14 also is 56, but 4 plus 14 does not give us 30, so that also doesn't work for us. But 4 can be further factorized at 2 times 2. So we can do 7 times 2 is 14 times 2 is 28 times 2. And 28 plus 2 is 30. So our two factors are 28 and 2. Right? So now we divide 30 into 28x plus 2x. And the other things are as it is. Okay? Now again, we draw a barrier in between 8 and 28. We'll see what we can take common. We can take 4 common and we can take x common. So we are left with x plus 7 and plus 2, nothing common. So we can here, when we have nothing common, we take 1 common. So we are left with 2x plus 7. So here also, sorry, I took 4 outside. So we are left with 2x. Now again, because the brackets are same, we are on the right track, right? So we will take 2x plus 7 common. And whatever is left outside comes in the next bracket. Cool. All right. This is a bit trickier, so you might have to watch it again to make sure you have understood it. Great. Have a good day.